Hey everyone, welcome to Movie Summaries. Today we are summarizing a 2018 horror movie called The Open House. Fair warning, there are spoilers in this summary. Enjoy, and be sure to subscribe to watch more videos weekly, and hit like. The movie begins with a teenager named Logan Wallace, honing his running skills with his dad, Brian. A proud father, Brian, tells him that one day he will make it to the Olympics. The father and son then return home for dinner. The Wallace family is not well off, so Logan is hoping to get into a good college with a sports scholarship. Logan's mother, Naomi, is also proud of her son and has high hopes for him. As she prepares dinner, Logan goes to the washroom to freshen up. He takes off his contact lenses, without which he is basically blind, and puts on his specs. Meanwhile, Brian and Naomi argue over their financial situation. Naomi used to work as a photographer and is currently out of work. Brian has a low-paying plumber job. When Logan walks into arguing in a hushed tone, Brian quickly changes the topic and asks Logan to go to the store with him. At the convenience store, Logan decides to wait in the van while Brian goes inside to get some eggs. When Brian proceeds to return to the car, he gets run over and killed by a speeding car. Poor Logan witnesses it all go down. The movie then cuts straight to Brian's memorial service. Logan has been badly hit by his father's untimely demise. A traumatized Logan locks himself in the washroom throughout the ceremony. Times are also really rough for Naomi. She not only lost her husband, she may soon lose the roof over her head too as she can't afford to pay the rent. Naomi's sister, Allison, drops by to offer her condolences. She offers her a vacant mountain house to Naomi and Logan till they get back on their feet. Allison's mountain home is currently on sale, so she asks Naomi to leave the home during the open houses on the weekends. Although initially hesitant, Naomi accepts the offer and heads to the mountain house with Logan. On their drive up to the remote home, Naomi gets into a small argument with Logan, who is not happy about leaving school. With graduation around the corner, Naomi gets distracted during the argument, and suddenly a man appears in the middle of the road. Naomi quickly swerves the car and narrowly misses running the man over. However, strangely, when Logan and Naomi look back, they do not find the man anywhere. Logan flashes back to the night his father was hit. They continue driving. They stop for groceries at a local store, where the two meet their new neighbor, Martha, who recognizes them from the pictures Allison emailed her. Martha is a bit strange and oversharing by nature. She reveals that her husband is also deceased getting some really creepy vibes from this lady. They finally arrive at their massive new home. Damn, this place looks dope. As Naomi unpacks, Logan explores. He comes across a long tunnel in the dark cellar, which has been blocked by debris. As he's walking back, he gets a good scare when one of the wooden steps breaks. Before going to bed, Naomi reminds him that the first open house is set to take place next day, so they have to be out of the house by 11 a.m. That night, Logan wakes up to the sound of an unfamiliar car with its engine running outside in the driveway. He heads downstairs and peeps through the blinds. The car is shining bright headlights at their home and honks its horn before driving away. Logan finally goes outside, but doesn't find anyone. When Logan proceeds to turn, he encounters Martha and gets badly spooked. Martha seems distressed and accuses him of trespassing on her property. Confused, Logan tells her this is his house. Martha breaks into tears and runs away. Before returning to bed, Logan checks up on his mother and finds her sleeping with their utility bills and a picture of their family. The next day, Logan wakes up to a hand reaching for his face. He gets spooked and immediately puts on his specs. It is realtor, Joni McAllister, and her associate, Ed. Before sending Logan and Naomi away, Joni also informs them that the open house will end by 5 p.m. As strangers check out the mountain property, Naomi and Logan waited out at a diner. He tells her about the strange incident with Martha. Naomi gives Martha a benefit of the doubt and says she was probably lost. But Logan feels that people in this area don't respect others' privacy. I mean, he has a point. The way Ed and Joanne woke him up was embarrassing and rude. The waitress tells Naomi that her card has been declined, and she starts looking for cash in her purse, seeing the mother scramble to find money. Logan offers to pay for the lunch with his birthday money. After lunch, they stop by a clothing store. As Logan looks for clothes, Naomi talks with the store clerk, Chris. Logan overhears the conversation from a distance and gets upset seeing the clerk flirting with his mom. He interrupts their conversation and asks to go home. At home, strangely, Logan and Naomi find the door open and encounter Ed inside, who seems frightened, as if he saw a ghost or something moments ago. He hands him the keys and rushes out of the door. Why does everyone keep running away around here? First Martha, and now Ed. Seeing Ed leave abruptly, Logan notes how weird open houses are. People hand over the keys to their homes to complete strangers. When Logan goes over to his room, he checks under his bed as a precaution. He leaves his phone in his room to be charged, 
and goes downstairs to watch a movie with his mother on TV. Naomi has to get up for a bathroom break, so Logan goes to the kitchen to refill the popcorn bowl. As both of them are away from the TV, a door creepily opens up. Then they receive a call on the telephone, but no one speaks on the other end. After the movie, when Logan returns to his room with a bowl of cereal, he finds his phone missing. He looks for his phone throughout the house and notices his bowl of cereal is now on the living room table. I would get very suspicious. He then hears strange noises coming from the basement, and then suddenly, his mother screams and he rushes to her room. Naomi freaked, because the hot water got shut off while she was taking a shower. Logan tells her about the strange noises coming from the basement, and she heads there with a flashlight by herself to inspect the noise. Here we go. However, as Naomi turns on the heater, someone slams shut the basement door. Afraid, she calls out for Logan, but he doesn't hear her. Fortunately, the door is not locked, and she gets out. She confronts Logan for allegedly closing the basement door, but he denies doing any such thing. The next morning, Logan goes for a run, but he's disappointed with his time. When they return home, they find some man peeping into their home through the door. It is Chris, the store clerk. Chris claims that he is there to check out the property. However, Logan doesn't believe him and storms into the house. Naomi apologizes for her son's behavior and allows Chris to check out the property. Chris wanders around the house by himself as Naomi goes to her room. Strangely, Chris goes straight for the basement while making sure no one is watching him. When Naomi returns downstairs, she doesn't find Chris, so she assumes he left on his own. She takes out her camera and heads out to click pictures, hoping to get a groove back. That night, Martha stops by with homemade banana bread. Martha says she came to the open house with her husband to check it out one last time the day before. This puzzles Naomi as she remembers Martha saying that her husband passed away some time ago. When Naomi asks her about it, Martha tells her that even the devil himself can't slow her man. Creepy. Over the course of the next few days, whenever Naomi takes a shower, the hot water continues to go out each time. Unbeknownst to Naomi and Logan, a mysterious man is seen walking around the house at night. During one of his runs, Logan gets a bad cramp in his legs. Just then, he encounters Martha, who offers to walk him home. Logan declines the offer, but she insists. She asks him strange questions, until Naomi finally arrives in her car and rescues him. After learning of Naomi's hot water woes, Allison sends a plumber to check the water heater. As he fixes the heater in the basement, Naomi finds a crumpled family photo in the trash while doing dishes. Just as she begins to wrap her hand around it, the plumber returns and inadvertently spooks her. He reveals that he has repaired the heater and hands her Logan's phone, which he found near it. The plumber also mentions Martha and confirms that Martha's husband died some time ago and that she suffers from Alzheimer's. Naomi then confronts Logan with the cell phone and the crumpled photo, accusing him of messing with her head, but Logan denies any involvement. This leads to a major argument, and Logan tells her that they wouldn't have been in this shitty situation, in this shitty mountain, if his dad was still alive. Hurt, Naomi tells him that they are in this shitty situation because of Logan's dad, who was irresponsible with money and didn't leave a penny for his family. Upset, Logan says he wishes it was her who died instead of his father. Oh, shit, they really are hitting each other with some low blows. Lost for words, Naomi leaves with tears in her eyes. That night, Logan wakes up to the same grinding noise coming from the basement, and he ventures out to investigate. There, he sees his dad coughing blood. Logan freaks out and calls out to his father. Logan then wakes up in a cold sweat in his bed, with his mother by his side. It turns out, it was just a nightmare. Naomi tells him that the open house is about to start in an hour. She waits for him outside to join her but he avoids her and goes on a run instead. Naomi goes to town and bumps into Chris at a convenience store parking lot. Chris apologizes for leaving without saying goodbye to her last time. He gives her his number and asks her to feel free to call him in case she needs help with anything around the town. Later, Naomi gets a call from the realtor who tells her that the house was broken into. Naomi quickly finds Logan and rushes home. To their astonishment, they find a set dinner table and Christmas music playing in the house. The telephone rings again and much like last time, they don't hear back from anyone on the other end. They finally decide to call the cops. The police search the entire property, but fail to find anyone. Naomi tells them about the open house, and speculates that perhaps someone found a spare key laying around the house, while Logan is convinced that someone besides him and Naomi is living in their home. However, the police officers brush their concerns aside. Afraid, Logan asks his mom to move into a hotel room, but she turns him down, saying they can't afford a hotel room right now. I would rather sleep outside than staying in this house. Later that night, Logan finds Chris's number on the table. Naomi tells him that Chris gave her his number in case they need anything, but if Logan doesn't like it, he can throw out the number. 
Later, Naomi hears her doorbell ring, and she answers the door. She is puzzled to see Chris. She asks him what he is doing at her door this late. Logan answers from behind and tells her that he called Chris to spend the night for his peace of mind. Logan and Chris patrol the compound and discuss the strange occurrences. Chris speculates that it could be some kid's doing, but Logan thinks otherwise. He said it felt more personal, like it was the doing of someone who had been to the house before. After checking the compound, they return back inside. Chris crashes on the couch in the living room. Logan brings him a pillow and a blanket. He thanks Chris for his help and apologizes for his rude behavior during their previous encounters. Chris forgives him and tells him that it's all good between them. Later that night, as Logan begins to take out his contacts, he again hears strange noises coming from downstairs. He ventures out to inspect and finds Chris missing from the living room. He then notices a car with its headlights on in the driveway and heads out to inspect. Lo and behold, Logan finds Chris dead inside the car. Just as he begins to wrap his head around it, an unknown man grabs his head from behind and slams it on the car's window. The man then pours spirit all over Logan's body, but doesn't set him on fire. The man then goes back inside and sleeps right next to Naomi in her bed. Naomi wakes up at night and looks at the photos from her cameras that she had given to be printed. To her astonishment, she finds alarming photos taken by a stalker of her sleeping. She finally notices the man behind her and freaks out. The man grabs her and attempts to choke her. Naomi later wakes up to find herself restrained to a chair. She calls for Logan, but the man arrives and starts torturing her. One by one, he breaks all her fingers. Ouch. The man then places a knife right next to Naomi and again disappears. Outside, Logan finally gains consciousness and hears his mother's screams. He finds her inside and frees her. He tells her that he loves her a lot. He then asks her to hide and heads downstairs to find their phone. The car's headlights is shining through their door again and the radio is playing a creepy song. Here we go. We all know that shit's about to go down now. Logan suddenly hears his mother's screams and rushes upstairs. However, he doesn't find her in her room and realizes that she is in the basement. He nervously ventures into the cellar with a knife. Naomi suddenly approaches him from behind in the basement tunnel, startling him. As a result, Logan accidentally stabs her. As Naomi falls to the ground, Logan notices the man standing in front of him. He freaks out and runs upstairs. He almost makes it outside the house, but the man drags him back inside and takes his contact lenses out. Logan then somehow manages to get away and run into the woods. He finds a spot and hides quietly. When he hears someone walking, he can't see without his contacts or glasses. Turns out, it's Martha on a night walk through the woods and doesn't hear or notice Logan at all. She leaves and Logan continues running. The next morning, as Logan rests by a stream, the man finds him and murders him. The unknown man then drives off to another open house. Damn, the killer is still out there. Hope you enjoyed our summary. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos weekly. Thanks.